Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of EVE University, and this is episode 17 of How to Survive EVE Online. Let's get started on the seventh step in the business chain. So, go to Neocom, Journal, Agents tab, Mission sub tab, Balancing the Book 7 of 10, right click, start conversation. And the agent wants us to check out an ancient site, and he's going to give us a civilian al analyzer to use on it. And we are to expect more Serpentis pirates. So, let's accept the mission. And let's get this out of the way. Open up the fitting window. drop something from the power grid to fit this. I will drop the afterburner. Just in case I start taking armor damage, I want to keep the armor repair module. Alright. If you have engineering level 4, you're not going to have this problem. That'll give you the extra megawatt you need. But anyway, let's undock. Right-click an empty space, balancing the book 7 of 10, encounter dead space, warped location. Warp drive active. Left-click the acceleration gate and activate gate. And let's Warp make sure closest active. objects are at the top of the overview. Now there's another acceleration gate. Left click on it and approach. Control left click both of the pirates. I accidentally tried to target lock an object nine astronomical units away. That's kind of useless. Now most acceleration gates that have hostels nearby are guarded. There are exceptions. And I'm trying to remember if this is one of those exceptions. Once I'm within 2,500 meters, I will find out. And indeed, drive. it is an exception. So this one is not guarded, so I don't have to have to kill these NPCs to get through. And that white diamond, the ancient ship structure, is what you need to use the code breaker on. Hold down the control key, lock up all three objects, let go of the control key. You do need targeting skill at least to level one to be able to lock three targets. Your ship's electronics on a Navitas can support three targets if you have targeting one. If you don't have tar the targeting skill, then you're not going to lock three targets. They're yellow boxing me, which means they already have a target lock on me. And now they are red boxing me, meaning that they are doing something hostile. Let's do something hostile in return. Oh. Start your civilian analyzer. You can either click the module or hit option F2. Or for Windows users, that's Alt F2. Where's that other guy? Here we go. Hit F1. Did I already open the ancient ship structure? Huh. The module succeeded. Alright, so left click the ancient ship structure, left click open cargo, and drag the data core into your cargo hold. And let's close this. Uh, this wreck has loot in it, so let's approach. <coughs> open that up. Drag over the small remote armor repair. Or whatever loot happens to be on it. 
Now, while waiting for the most recent video to process, I finished the salvaging skill. So, let me show you something new. Right click a wreck and select bookmark location. Corelli initiate wreck, wreck. Click OK. I'll explain to you in a moment, moment why you're doing that. But for now, left click the station and click dock. Warp drive active. Now sometimes you can get something out of value from the empty wrecks. Stuff called salvaged materials, and you need a salvager module to do that. You need a real salvager module, not the civilian salvager that the agent that the agent gave you for some of the tutorial missions. Docking request accepted. So we're gonna dock up. Let's move the objective and the loot into the hangar. Let's talk to Lloyd Dementia, start conversation, and let's complete the mission. And let's close that window. Now, uh, what I want you to do next is right click your Velator, make active. Let's open up the fitting window and let's slap on the afterburner. Let's also go to the market type in salvager space I. Things use Roman numerals around here. You want to type salvager space I, not salvager space 1. If you type salvager space 1, you're not going to find anything. So left click salvager 1, look for the least expensive salvagers in, in station, and buy two of them. Close the market window. Here are the Salvager 2s. Left click and drag them over to your Velator. Close the fitting window and undock. Now you just turned in the mission, so all that mission scenery no longer exists. All you, The only way you can get back to those wrecks is if you know where those wrecks are located. That's why you made a bookmark. So, you're going to right click in empty space my places now appears because you've got a bookmark here. Corelli initiate rec, warped location within zero. Warp drive active. Your ship will align for warp, enter warp, and your ship will drop out of warp at the wrecks. Notice how all the mission scenery is gone. Everything that was created as part of the mission goes away when you turn in the mission and the last player leaves the immediate area. But the wrecks were not created as part of the mission, so they stay behind. Target lock the two wrecks, select one, hit F1, select the other, hit F2. And your salvager modules will get to work on trying to salvage the wreckage. I only have salvaging level 1, so I may go through a lot of failed cycles. If I want a higher probability of success, I'll have to train salvaging to higher levels, or attach a rig to my ship called a small salvage tackle rig. Actually, a small salvage tackle I, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's the one. Small salvage tackle if I'm fitting it to a frigate. Medium if I'm fitting it to a cruiser, battle cruiser, or a Noctis. Large if I'm fitting it to a battleship for some odd reason. But I wouldn't normally fit salvage tackles to a battleship. Now the first wreck did not contain anything of value, unfortunately. Ah, neither of these contained anything of value. Warp drive active. Oh well, such is life. I was hoping to show you an example of salvage materials, but neither of these wrecks happened to have anything of value, which will happen. 
uh, a significant portion of the time. But it usually is worth your while to go back and salvage the wrecks. As a new player, salvage can be a very good source of income. Salvaged materials are used to make things called... Hold on, that's not the right window. Salvage materials are used to make things called rigs, which would go in the rig slots, and rookie ships do not have rig slots, so this is a bad example. Docking permission requested. But anything that isn't a rookie ship, or a capsule, or a shuttle, uh, or a freighter will typically have rig slots. Docking request accepted. Anyway, I'm going to stop here. In the next episode, we'll take on Industry 7 and Business 8. In the meantime, thank you for watching.